a registered dietitian nutritionist and a passionate advocate for healthy eating choices. It's my pleasure to work with the American Heart Association and Aramark to share nutritious tips to some of our favorite recipes. For healthy meals in a hurry, being prepared is a critical step. A stocked pantry can save you time and worry after a busy weekday or even on the weekends when you have limited time. Here are some items to keep in your pantry or cabinet. Dried beans like black beans, chickpeas, pintos, and red beans. They are a good source of fiber and protein. Canned vegetables like carrots, corn, green beans, peas, and tomatoes for adding to soup, rice, pasta, and sauces. Look for a no salt added canned vegetable. Canned and dried fruits like oranges, peaches, pineapple, apricots, and raisins. Look for items packed in water, 100% fruit juice, and no added sugar. Whole grain pasta, brown rice, and other easy whole grains like couscous and quinoa. These are also a great source of fiber. Old fashioned rolled oats, instant oatmeal, and whole grain cereal for a quick breakfast. Whole wheat flour, oat flour, and cornmeal are great for baking. Nuts, seeds, and nut butters for healthy snacking. Some examples are walnuts, almonds, and sunflower seeds. Healthy cooking oils like canola, corn, or olive, and nonstick vegetable oil cooking sprays. Balsamic vinegar and low sodium soy sauce for salad dressings and sauces. Low sodium chicken, beef, or vegetable broth for making soup. Dried herbs and spices, keep a variety on hand and buy or create salt-free seasonings. All of these items are affordable and easy to find at your local market. When stocking your pantry, compare nutrition labels and choose products with the lowest amount of sodium, added sugars, and saturated fat, and no trans fats. You can also look for the heart check mark to easily identify foods that can be part of your heart healthy eating plan. Here's a quick recipe to get you started. Enjoy. I'm Carol Ritchie and today I'll be preparing a black eyed pea salad with brown rice. Delicious. And you know, it's time, it's time, it's time to just do a pantry makeover. I'm gonna share some great tips with that as well. So when I have a well-stocked pantry, I can literally just put everything together, dumpster and smile. Very, very simple. So I'm gonna show you those key factors. So for this particular dish, we have um, rice, and this is a brown rice. And so I like to stock my pantry with things that are going to be nutrient dense and good, have good fiber. We're gonna just put the rice into the bowl. This rice is already cooked, so this would be something that you keep and it's ready to go. You don't have to worry about cooking it or anything like that, so nice to go. Now, I will put in some other canned products. Now, when I'm choosing canned products, what I like to do is choose those that have no salt added or the absolute lowest sodium that you can find. And those are excellent to have on hand. So for this one, we have whole kernel corn and it is, you know, no salt added. I like to drain and rinse to make sure that there's no more salt or sodium on there. And again, this is no salt added, so we're in good shape. So give that a good shake. And there we go. Now we have some black eyed peas. So these black eyed peas, again, are, are just a no salt added. And the liquid is a little bit murky in color. So that's why it's nice to rinse it, get any excess of that murkiness liquid that might make your dish not look so pretty. Just get, take that right off. Okay, make sure that's nice and drained. A colander like this is so handy to have. Okay, now we have more black eyed peas. So we'll add that to it. One thing that I love to do, this is a salad that I enjoy preparing to have on hand during the week. So I can put it on top of lettuce. I can wrap it in a corn tortilla. 
uh, you know, whatever. It, make it easy, make it simple. You're getting a good balance of uh, dietary fiber. There's protein in the beans. And there you go. All right, so we have our mixture of corn and black eyed peas. Delicious. Right there, my friends. Nice. Okay, so we'll add more aromatics to this. We have bell pepper and celery for a great crunch. I'll shake a little bit of black pepper in there. I usually use between an eighth of a teaspoon and a, um, a quarter teaspoon when I'm developing recipes for American Heart Association. Uh, a lot of people love pepper, some people don't, um, but you can just adjust it to your liking. Now, as far as salt goes and sodium, we don't need to add any salt to this because we're gonna perk up the flavor with a great dressing. And we have lemon juice here, olive oil, and a little bit of water. What does that do? It helps to thin out that dressing a little bit so that it will just permeate all around. And it's going to be, you know, I know it's just water, but it's, you know, there's no fat in that and it's just gonna be a great um, flow through. So it's, it's handy to have. So we'll go ahead now and add some parsley. Now this is a little bit of dry parsley. I'll just go ahead and add some right here. And I have some fresh parsley right here. When I cut parsley, again, your pinch grip, thumb here, index finger here, keep your fingers bent under, cut it off of the stem there, put your hand on top, and chop, chop, chop. So when I'm building my pantry, the first thing I actually like to do is clean it out, okay? Yeah, you've gotta go through it. You have to find all of the products that might be out of date. It really, you know, do yourself a good favor and just take everything out, examine it carefully, make sure that there's no expired dates, and then fill up your pantry with some great heart healthy items. Some of the things I like to keep on hand are the no salt added diced tomatoes, beans and legumes that are no salt added or very low sodium. I also like to keep some healthy fats around, you know, healthy oils, non-tropical oils. I like olive oil, vegetable oil, safflower, and those are great oils to have around. We've got our parsley right here. When you're cooking with herbs and spices, you want to make sure that if you're using fresh herbs, you use two to three times as much fresh as you would dried. So say for example, a recipe called for one teaspoon of dried herbs, well, two to three times of that would be about a tablespoon because there's three, table, three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So that's just FYI. So you put about a tablespoon in there and go ahead and give that a little shake. There we go. Okay, then we'll pour it over there. We'll stir it up. That lemon juice, again, is gonna really boost that flavor. So when you've got some great things in your dry pantry, you know, your canned goods, your brown rice, your vinegars too, vinegars are great, balsamic red wine vinegar. Um, then think about your refrigerator and your freezer. You want to stock you know, low fat or no fat dairy products. You also want to have lean meats. Also have things in your freezer, which are great to have on hand. I have no sugar added berries for smoothies. I like to have frozen vegetables on hand just in case. When you're running around and you're having a busy day, it's totally fine to uh, use those substitutions. Alrighty, so here is our black eyed pea and rice salad. And I'll sprinkle a little bit of uh, parsley on there for top. And it's just, it's such a joy to behold. I love it. And I want to thank you so much for um, you know, joining us today and learning and cooking with us. Aramark and the American Heart Association want to help you discover, choose, and prepare healthy foods. For additional information and resources, go to heart.org slash healthy for life.